So, this video, this video is going to talk about how to get some really wide guitar tracks using the Boss SY1000, and the secret here is combining the output from the uh, normal pickups with the model pickups. So, in this case, it's basically, I've got the, uh, it's a clean sound, and I'm going to switch to where we're only hearing, that's just the model sound. And if I look at the kind of guitar I've got, it's a, uh, and that's the uh, rear pickup it's simulating. Now we're going to switch over and you hear the, the sound from this uh, uh, Washburn JB100. And I can change pickup position. And then I can use the um, switch to engage both of them together. And I have the uh, controls configured so that I can, can actually control the blend with the knobs on the guitar. So this is just the model guitar. So the way to set this up is pretty easy. Uh, what we're going to do is, if, if we look at how the uh, the guitar is uh, set up here in the SY1000, how the patch is set up, I've got the uh, normal output, the normal input rather, is is enabled. So this is the input from the guitar. I've got a little amp, uh, active, uh, some EQ, and the most important thing is over here under the balancer, I have. Uh, the ch my uh, right channel panned all the way to the right, and my left channel panned all the way to the left. So that gives it the stereo sound. And then if I look at the balancer that I have over here on the um, modeled side, the, the balancing between the two modeled instruments is in the middle. We're not using instrument two at this time. And then over here, I can see that I've got the right channel panned all the way to the right. So that's basically the secret of this, is just to pan the model guitar all the way to one channel, and then pan the normal guitar all the way to the other channel. And then basically now we have this really nice uh, stereo output. And because obviously these are different pickups, they're in different positions, there's always going to be a changing phase relationship. And there's the process, processing time is different between the normal pickup and the uh, the model sound, so it's it's about the closest thing I can think of to getting the sound of double tracking a guitar just in one pass. Now we can do, of course, a lot more than this is just working with the clean sound. And I really do like the pickups on this JB100, so it's nice to be able to include those with the model sound. What we can do is also add in a little bit of effects. Um, actually, before I get too far down this road. If you're wondering about how to split it so that the volume control on the guitar, you have normal volume control on your normal uh, knob, and then you have the modeled sound on the modeled knob. I have another video that goes into a little bit more detail, but uh, the, the short explanation is under the controls to set it up so that uh, GKS volume is off. The guitar volume is turned off. Otherwise, it's the overall patch level and you can't control things independently. And then if we go over to our assigned control, I can see that instrument level one is being controlled by the GK volume. So the GK volume knob on the guitar is only controlling the level of instrument one, which is how I'm able to have independent control over instrument uh, uh, the model sound without affecting the output from the, the normal guitar. So next thing let's do is we can add in some distortion. So for the uh, normal guitar path, uh, I have a distortion effect added and if I hit control switch one, that you can see that that's been enabled. I don't have another distortion module, so how do I get distortion on both 
the normal guitar and on the model guitar. If we go over here to the model guitar, we can see that under amplifier, we've got different amplifier settings and I've set control switch one to do two things, to turn the distortion on and off, but also to change my uh, gain and output settings. So if I hit control switch number one, you can see that the gain goes up, but the mic level goes down. So it's kind of like turning up the, the input to your amp, but then turning down the output. And so by assigning both of those to uh, control two, let's look at the control assignments, we can see that uh, control switch one is actually assigned to three different things. I'm turning the distortion on and off. I'm turning the amplifier gain up and down. The minimum volume value is 70, the maximum is 115. And then I'm changing the mic level as well. And so when we actually put that into use, we're able to add distortion equally onto both uh, instruments. Let's turn that on and see what that sounds like. <laughs> kind of nice. Let's just hear the uh, the normal output. And then here's the modeled output. If I turn that down, turn up the modeled. And I can blend the two in together. adding distortion. Now here's another thing we can do is I've assigned control 2 to add in some chorusing and actually added some compression as well. So if we look under the control assignments we can see that for uh, controller 2 we're turning a chorus on or off and that's on my regular guitar input. We're also turning effects 1 on and off and that's on the model guitar. I've got a compressor turning on and off on the normal guitar and then effects 2 also on and off on controller 2. So if we look over here we can see that effects 1 which is currently off is a compressor and as I turn control 2 we can see that it's in engaging that compressor and then if I look over here at effects 1 we can see that's a chorus and again as I hit the switch I can see it turning on and off but I can also see it activating the compressor and the chorus on the normal guitar, which is one of the neat things about the SY-1000, of course, is you can assign multiple things to multiple controllers. So by assigning uh, different kinds of compression and different kinds of chorus to each guitar, obviously we get a richer sound than just doing everything on one guitar. So let's hear what that sounds like. combine the normal guitar signal with the model guitar signal uh, just because the richness of the out inputs is a lot different than if we're just going modeled for everything. Okay, so let's look at a, another example of doing the same thing. I'm going to go up to another patch and in this patch it's very similar except uh, here's the, uh, the modeled sound in this case is a nylon guitar. have the normal guitar signal. And then we can combine the two together. So I hope this has given you some ideas on how to use the SY-1000 to make some really wide guitar tracks just in one pass by combining both a modeled guitar with the real guitar sound.